the yeah, dressing yes, can, rooms man. and wouldn't come out while the guy's in the Adrian ring. Adrian Bronner, the one and only. Oh, you better believe it. Ricky Rose. Is that Rick Ross? But it's all about yeah. Adrian Bronner tonight. <laughs> okay. Being led to the ring by, I believe that's Rick Ross. Yeah, Rick, Rick Ross. The can, man. Calvin Ford, Kenny Ellis. Here Nine comes the former Ford Division right World Champion with quite an entourage be behind him. Adrian, the jab in the left oh. down goes Broder. A straight left hand and Broder oh, got Brian deposited hurt. on the canvas. Yes, he's hurt. He's hurt, and he drops his mouthpiece. Uh, he, you don't go after that's that Mike Tyson. Let them get the mouthpiece. <laughs> A perfect left hand. Yeah. Oh boy. Don't put it. Jab it away. Oh. Down goes bro. Did you say that they picked up a tooth off the yes, canvas? They just did, yes. Adrian uh. problem Adrian the problem Broner has one less tooth now than he began the night with. Wow. Their cause was he was trying to get him out. Yeah. He, he, yeah, but Broner was smart. He yeah. was able to keep his hands up. Yeah, that's slip and slide just a little bit. Hey, proud of you, Adrian. Hey, proud of you, Adrian. Cause my don't play no games. Cause my niggas got guns with them, bro. And 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 I'm dead serious, bro. And all I got to do is point, and they gonna blow. And I'm dead serious, bro, nigga. And me and my nigga, we didn't already beat bodies, and they still looking for me. <laughs> And every charge been acquitted, my nigga. So, 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 don't come up here playing. Don't, don't make no false moves. I'm not playing. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not playing. I will smack the shit you, my nigga. For real. I, I'm not playing. I'm not here to play. I'm not here to play. No games. Yo, yo, yo. It's 100 TV. We back with another one, man. And today we got your boy Adrian Goner, man. I mean, Adrian Broner, man. I call him Goner because it looked like that boy is gone. He don't even want to box no more. But we got Adrian Broner, man. <sighs> your boy Adrian Broner then came out there with Rick Ross. And not even Rick Ross's Haitian voodoo could help him because it ain't work. Man, that boy then came out there with Rick Ross and that boy got his teeth knocked out, man. Mm-mm-mm. I don't know, man, but I think it's a wrap for your boy, Adrian, man. I think Adrian needs to just take a seat back from boxing, bro, because this boxing thing is not working out for him. At this point, it just looks like that boy, Adrian, is just fighting for the money. He's just fighting for the money, y'all. The thing with Adrian Broner, he always had one foot in the streets and one foot in the ring. You know what I mean? That boy was a rapper. That ain't work. It just seems like that boy just wants to be a gangster. I'm not going to lie, man. That boy was at the press conference and he was talking about that he had caught some bodies. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but he is just indicting himself. You going on a press conference that is promoting a boxing match and you up there speaking about bodies. You see what I'm saying? It seems like this boy wants to be a gangster. This boy don't want to box. This boy want to be a stepper. Adrian wants to be a gangster. But you know what's so crazy, though? Because after all that talking at the damn press conference, that boy done jumped in the ring and got his teeth knocked out, man. <laughs> it's a goddamn shame, Adrian, because we was rooting for you, man. But right now, it seems like you just got to pack this up, man. Tyson did it. When Tyson was losing them fights like that, Tyson got the hell up out of there, man. Only right now you see Tyson fighting Jake Paul because that's just a little scrimmage, man. You know what I mean? It ain't nothing serious. But at this point, Adrian, bro, you need to retire. Because ever since you done left Floyd Mayweather, man, it looking like, I don't know, I don't know what camp you was training at, but it ain't Floyd's camp. Floyd had you right. But now it looks like, man, you just losing a touch as being a great fighter. And you was once a great fighter, Adrian. But I don't know what happened, bro. I don't know. But it's so obvious that your heart is not in the fighting no more. I don't even think you was even focusing on boxing right now. I just feel like you was just fighting for a paycheck. Your heart is not in the ring no more, man. Your heart is at the strip club. He didn't really focus on his craft and take it to the next level. Because up to this day, that boy Floyd Mayweather still is undefeated. Adrian lost like, what, five or six fights already? And he lost them five or six fights bad. I'm talking about real bad. And it's all good, Adrian. It comes to a point in life where even Patrick Ewan had to say, you know what? This is it. Troy Aikman had to say, you know what? This is it. 
So I just think right now, Adrian, you need to just hang it up, man. Because the way that boy Cobbs done put hands on you, <sighs> it's looking like this boxing thing ain't for you, man. But let me know how y'all feel in the comments, man. Do y'all feel like your boy AB should just pack it up and retire? Or do you feel like this boy could really come back and become a great fighter? Let me know in the comments, man. It's 100 TV. You are now watching 100 TV, where we always keep it 100 over here. No clickbait, no cab news, just real authentic content. The 100 West.